This video is brought to you by Broadcast Brazil. Webcast, broadcast and mobile. Hey everybody, welcome to Broadcast Brazil. After the last Insights article about audio editing in Final Cut Pro 10, we made a small video tutorial to accompany it. We start with a clip from the Brazilian Jazz and Blues Festival in Rio das Ostras. We select it and now let's open the inspector to have some more audio information about this clip. As you can see, there are two mono channels which I can mute separately. This is too limited for when you want to do some more in-depth audio editing. So, let's see what we can do here. First up we set an in point with the I and an out point with the O. You see the hand symbol which shows it's draggable? Now let's drag it to our project, Blues. And there the main problem arises, a married clip. The audio and video are stuck to each other and leaving us without the dual track audio editing options. Now you can use control click and open in timeline and voila you might think, great that's it, I have my separate audio tracks. Yes you can, but that's not practical. You're in the timeline, meaning you will not hear other audio you are using in your project. So we go back to the project using the left arrow button. We go to clip, break apart, clip items. Of course, you can also choose detach audio, which does the following. It gives only one audio channel, not what we need. In this article we also talk about this. After the detach option, you can still choose break apart clip items a command Z or undo and we are back where we started. Go to clip and choose break apart clip items or use control click on the clip in the project window and choose break apart clip items. Now there is dual channel audio to work with. Do watch out though not to drag some channel out of sync, they're not attached to the video anymore. The good thing about breaking apart clip items is that you can now edit the audio from your clip while still hearing all the other audio you're using in your project. Now you see that little black line in the middle of the audio clips, right? Use option click and click on them in various places. You can see the add keyframes. Those keyframes you can drag up and down, it's your volume, so you can easily start editing and mixing with it. Or select an audio clip that you want to edit and see what you can do with it in the inspector. You can change the pan mode, give it an equalization, enhance the audio, giving you more detail and freedom in your editing process. You got it all separated with the option of hearing all the other audio tracks in your project. Perfect. So hopefully this was helpful for you and if you didn't read the insights article yet on broadcastbrazil.com Please do, because it has even more interesting info in there for you. See you next time.